Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify um, expressions with the exponents using negative exponents. So you can see in all these examples we have some negative exponents. And I also wrote down all the powers of uh, exponents that we've been dealing with, such as the product rule, quotient rule, power rule, um, power to product, power to quotient, negative exponents, which will be really important, and then um, exponents raised to the zero power. Okay. So again, using our kind of negative exponents rules here, whenever we have an exponent raised to a negative power, we can rewrite that as a positive power by rewriting it as its reciprocal. So basically, this is you could think of this as r to the negative fifth over 1. To rewrite this as a positive power, using our rule, I can rewrite this as 1 over r to the fifth. Hmm. OK. Um, so over here, now if I have a negative power in the denominator, Again, by rewriting it as a reciprocal, I can rewrite this as x to the positive fifth over 1. And we don't, really need to, we don't really need to write the over 1, but a lot of times that helps students just kind of visualize it from the beginning. Um, over here, however, now we're going to be looking into applying the, uh, buh, 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 applying the product rule, which is going to be the exact same thing as what we have you know, done before. Uh, you apply your operations just like we have done before, just now negative exponents is going to be dealing with a negative number. So I'm going to multiply my 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. And then I have a to the third plus negative 4. So that's going to give me a negative 15 a to the negative first power. So therefore, to rewrite this as a positive, my result will be a negative 15 over a. And you could write raised to the positive first power, but you don't need to. Uh, the next example, I'm going to do the same thing. Negative 3 times negative 4 is going to be a positive 12. x squared plus negative 2. It's going to be 12 to the x to the 0 power, which is just going to leave me with 12. Uh, the next one is now we're going to need to apply the power to product rule. So again, remember you're applying that 2 to each and every one of those terms. So therefore, it's going to be 3 squared, x to the negative 4th squared, y cubed, squared, so that's going to leave me with, um, actually, you know what, I don't have enough room to write that out. So that's going to be 9x to the negative 8th, y to the 6th. To write my final answer, I need to write the negative power in the denominator. So that's going to leave me with 9y to the 6th over x to the 8th. Okay. Um, over here, now you have a negative power. Now, this kind of comes into... Um, a different scenario here. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could either uh, apply it just like it's a negative number and then simplify the result, or you could also rewrite it as a positive power. Um, so you could rewrite this as 1 over 3x to the negative second y to cubed z to the 0, and then times it to the third power. Right? You could do it. You could do that way. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. However, my preferred presentation is just to multiply this as a negative number. So that's 3 to the negative third, x to the positive 6, y to the negative ninth, and then z to the 0. So just multiply negative numbers, you know, just multiply negative number times the, uh, times the power. And then again, now we know that whenever we have a negative power, I need to rewrite those in the reciprocal. z to the 0 is just 1, so I'm left with x to the 6th over 3 cubed y to the ninth. Well, obviously, 3 cubed is going to equal 27. But it's negative, so that's why it was in the denominator. And there you go. Um, one thing to kind of look at here is he, a kind of like a, a short trick or, or a short um, trick, shortcut, shortcut. Um, so look at this. Now, again, by using the power priority quotient rule, we can distribute this, right? And what you notice is, we have the power negative in the numerator and the power negative in the denominator. So in reality, I have x to the fifth over 3 squared to write them as positive. So my final answer is x to the fifth over 9. Well, what I want you to understand is by rewriting them here to here, those are reciprocals of each other. So when you have a negative power, all you simply need to do is just reciprocate it and make it positive. So for example, let's do this next one. I can just rewrite this as y cubed over x squared to the fourth, right? Because I'm basically distributing those that negative, so it's just going to reciprocate the both the numerator and the denominator. Now I can apply the power to quotient rule, which gives me y to the twelfth over x to the eighth. All right. Um, so now what we have is we have multiple powers and we have negative. And the basic 
thing that I like to do with this first is, um, again, get rid of like, all the negative powers first. And once I've gotten rid of all the negative powers, then what I will do is, once I've gotten rid of all the negatives, then I'll go ahead and apply my power or my quotient rule. So um, by getting this down and this up, I'm left with s to the fourth, t to the sixth, t to the sixth, and this becomes r cubed, r squared, s to the fourth. So you see how I kind of got rid of all of my, um, all of my negatives? Then I know that s to the fourth divided by s to the fourth, that's going to divide to 1. And therefore, then I'm just going to use the product rule in the numerator and the denominator. So I have t to the twelfth divided by r to the sixth. OK, last but not least, uh, we have a, an expression similar to the one we just did, raised to the negative first power. Again, if you remember by using this, that negative is just going to be reciprocating everything. But again, we want to be able to, uh, my preferred thing is to simplify everything inside the parentheses whenever we can. So you can see that these two are swapped, and that goes in the denominator. So therefore, um, just by rewriting the expression, I'll have r squared divided by r. The s's remain the same. And this becomes t times t cubed. OK, now I'll go ahead and simplify that result. r squared divided by r is going to leave me with an r. That becomes s squared, because 2 minus 0 is just 2, divided by t to the fourth. To the negative one, well, anything raised, anything raised to the first power is just going to be a product. You know, multiplying one times the power is going to remain the same. However, since it's negative, we know it's going to just be the reciprocal. So I'll just do t to the fourth over r s squared, and that's your final answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify a uh, an expression with exponents using the. Bum, 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 what rule is that? Using negative powers. Thanks.